Hey guys, Moran Pobert here, and in this next video, I'm gonna tell you why you should buy a boring business. Let's get to it. And yeah, if you didn't yet, subscribe, comment below, share this video with a friend. This channel is all about me documenting my journey out there looking to buy businesses, grow businesses. I'm gonna share everything I know, everything you want me to talk about. So feel free to comment below, let me know what you think. And any feedback would be great. I'd love to get the feedback from you guys. And also see in the description below, if you wanna watch me and my company is back while we go out there looking for deals, buying companies, you can do that. We pick a few people every now and then. So see the description below on how to apply. And then you can, I guess, watch our back, learn the process, and we can even share deals together if you want. So yeah, see the description below for more info about that. So let's talk about today's video. I see many people out there, especially again, everyone out there talking about creating businesses from scratch, starting businesses, a startup. Everyone wanna create the next Facebook, Uber, Snapchat, all that stuff. And I see people wanna change the world nonstop, which is all great. I've got nothing against it. The only problem I have with this is that most of those businesses fail. And again, I'm not trying to be pessimist or something like that. I'm just saying, if you're just starting and you, at least most of the people that I talk to start to get into business, they don't care about changing their world as much as they care about changing their financial and lifestyle, financial, personal financials and lifestyle. And if you want to do that, I think you don't want to go in, in, in the vibe of, hey, I'm here to change the world, to bring in the next new ideas. Many times it just not lead to good businesses. I think what you want to do if you want to change your lifestyle and your financial life is actually look for boring businesses or dual businesses, businesses that grow slowly year by year and buy them. Like people out there start businesses from scratch. It's going to take you one, two, three, maybe many, many years to get profitable. And it's such hard work to start a business from scratch and make it successful. What I'm saying is go find a boring business that's already, someone already put the work for the first few years and you just go and take it when it's already working and already profitable, or let's say enduringly profitable, where it's steadily growing, literally many times just by word of mouth because the business is out there consistently and you just go in there after someone already, already worked for that that hard and it, it just could give you such a great lifestyle and financial, uh, I guess, freedom even from just one deal versus if you go and start a business from scratch and raise capital and work the startup and especially people who get into technology, it's like things change so much that many times you're going to start business in a sector right now and in few months the technology won't be worth anything. That's why I think going into boring businesses can many times be so much better for most people out there. Go and buy a boring business, you have many times recurring clients, uh, the business is so profitable, literally with many times not even trying just because there is a good product there's a good track record for the business there's a good brand recognition there's a good name for that business the customers know the business already for many many years and it's so much easier to get into those type of businesses and then if you want to change the world bring your ideas into those businesses and just implement them into that existing boring businesses when you have those good fundamentals that good financial uh, i guess basics and then if you want to change the world just bring in another department, a new department to your already existing business. Many people out there try to go into technologies and startups and businesses that can grow really fast. But remember, all those businesses that can grow really fast have also the highest risks and most of them eventually shut down. I know so many businesses, I have friends in the VC venture capital world who are investing in those technology startups. Yes, they can have amazing returns, but if you're the entrepreneur or trying to start those businesses, your risk for failure is so high. I think, in my opinion, it's just not worth it. As an investor, it's a different perspective because you know that all you need is just one out of 10 businesses to be successful, to make a lot of money back. But when you're the entrepreneur, putting all your life, all your efforts, many times all your savings into that one technology business, in my opinion, it's just not worth the risk. So in my opinion, if you wanna have, a, I guess, a clear mind, not, not to worry all day, I think buy a boring business, Yes, you might, I mean, you'll still need to work hard, but you're gonna have a steady income coming in. And then, yes, like I said, if you wanna change the word still, do it in your existing business. And when you look to buy a business, just buy a business in that sector that you wanna change the world in. Also, I think the fact that, especially if you wanna get into the space of buying businesses, when you go into businesses that grow slow, you can also just buy them at a fair price and multiples. For example, just to give you an example, you can buy boring business for like two, three, four times multiples of your pre-tax profit versus if you go to technology businesses, it's going to be really hard to buy those businesses. 
just because they grow so fast. You can see crazy multiples. I'm talking 10 plus multiples on their profit that people are willing to pay for those kind of businesses. Again, just because their returns can be so amazing, but the risk is there as well. Like I know people who sold their businesses for like 10 times multiples. At the same time, the owner, the, the new buyer had to shut down the business after two years or so just because the technology changed so much. So it's like high risk, high reward. Um, in my opinion, I'd rather go for boring more, at least as the basic for your financial life. You want to have something that is stable, something that is bringing consistent cash flow every month. In my opinion, that's the best way to grow slowly and surely. And then if you want to put some of that money into things that have high risk, then it's okay. Just put a percentage of that into things that you're willing to risk. And that's all good as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think and let me know what else you want me to talk about. I'm here for you guys. I'm here documenting my journey, letting you know what I'm doing day to day and here pretty much to, to answer your questions. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.